We have some important things you guys need to watch out for in the crypto market today because just recently there has been a drop in the crypto prices. I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what's been going on, what you need to be paying attention to right now. So as always, not financial advice. And let's get straight into this video. The first thing I have uh, noticed is over on Twitter, people are talking about a massive cyber attack. You know, did it hit the USA? Because a lot of services were actually down in the last uh, few hours. So Twitter was having massive issues. Instagram was also having uh, massive problems. Facebook, Fox News, uh, McDonald's app went down. RuneScape, so a lot of the people, fans of RuneScape, may have had to leave their basements uh, during the cyber attack. Facebook Messenger, Pokemon Go, and uh, Google as well, temporarily under a bit of stress. So did a big cyber attack just happen? Let me know in the comment section below if you guys were impacted by that. On Twitter, I could not access my DMs. Uh, so that was the impact for me, but I didn't see anything else too massive. Uh, some really big news you have to be aware of right now is uh, there are rumblings, there are rumors that the SEC is basically on the war path and it may ban crypto staking for retail customers. So this is actually coming out from a very uh, credible source, CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong. And he says, I hope that's not the case as I believe it would be a terrible path for the US if that was allowed to happen. And if we actually jump over to his tweet right now, he says, we're hearing rumors that the SEC would like to get rid of crypto staking in the US for retail customers. I hope that's not the case as I believe it would be a terrible path for the US if that was allowed to happen. Staking is a really important innovation in crypto. It allows users to participate directly in running open crypto networks staking brings many positive improvements to the space including scalability increased security and reduced carbon footprints we need to make sure that new technologies are encouraged to grow in the us and not stifled by lack of clear rules when it comes to financial services and web3 it's a matter of national security that these capabilities be built out in the us regulation by enforcement doesn't work and encourages companies to operate offshore which is what happened with ftx hopefully we can work together to publish clear rules for the industry and come up with sensible solutions that protect consumers while preserving innovation and national security interests in the US. So I have to say that was a really good thread from Brian Armstrong and he summed it up really well guys. And uh, look, to give you guys some secrets behind the scene, this is what I think anyway. I think the SEC just wants to shut down crypto. You know, maybe the Trojan horse of uh, FTX didn't implode the crypto market as much as uh, some organizations or elements would have hoped. But right now they might just be going for the, you know, the tough approach with the sledgehammer and uh, basically looking to illegalize uh, forms of crypto like staking. You guys know staking is great. You can get some passive returns, passive income rewards, and that's what crypto is all about. And again, if it does put the big banks out of business, so be it, because crypto is more efficient and more innovative. But guys, that is some uh, behind the scenes of what I think is going on. But just watch out for the SEC war path right now. It is uh, really starting to heat up. And on top of that, they've also opened up an investigation into Kraken over securities violations. So these guys are wasting a lot of time and money and you know taxpayer dollars really are trying to crack down on our crypto right now so going after kraken and those rumors about staking are also going around and on top of that you know potentially israel is really looking to crack down on crypto as well so proposed israeli law to classify crypto as securities will kill the industry so this is a very fresh article just come out today and uh, it's looking to potentially classify you know crypto as securities as well and a lot of people over there aren't too happy about that as well because there is a big clamp down in 2023 regulation and that's what I'm seeing right now and you can see right here this law change what would it do it says right here it would give new powers to the police it seeks to amend the definition of securities to include digital assets used for financial investment it clarified the definition of digital assets as digital representation of value or rights used for financial investment and that's exactly what crypto is so potentially big regulation 2023 this is kind of what you need to be watching out for because again, it could cause a lot of volatility in the crypto market. And one crypto in particular that is getting around a lot of the regulation is the old school king itself. And I want to shout out this quote from Michael Saylor. And he says here, the people need an asset that cannot be debased, running on a network that cannot be stopped, governed by a protocol that cannot be corrupted. Hashtag Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is one of the ones where I think the SEC 
SEC has not classified it as a security. I'm bullish on crypto. I'm bullish on our Bitcoin in the long run. But guys, watch out for all this regulation uh, that is coming out. And in regards to the crypto prices, guys, have a look at this. So we have had that FUD come out of uh, Coinbase just recently. Those rumors going around. There has been a bit of harsh uh, regulation talk right here. And you can see right here, Bitcoin has dropped from around, you know, in the last couple of days, 23,000, bottom down at around 22,300. And right now it's trading around 22,500. So a bit of a decrease in the BTC price. What else you need to be paying attention to as well? There has been a bit of a pullback in the AI crypto. So we've been on top of these AI cryptos. Very, very exciting. So a lot of them have had triple digit gains in the last seven days. But in the last 30 days, a lot of them have went up like a thousand percent plus. But there has been a bit of a retracement in here. So I was waiting for when that retracement came in and there has been a bit of a retracement across the board with a lot of them kind of going down 20 to 30% after, you know, mooning extremely hard in the last uh, few weeks right there. A lot of these are a bit of a cheaper price right now and uh, definitely do your research into AI. I definitely think it's going to revolutionize the economy uh, with what's going to happen in the future, but very, very interesting right there. And if we have a look at the crypto bubbles today, again, see a red. Why is it a see a red? Because of that big news we just spoke about right now. So a little bit of uncertainty, a little bit of FUD getting spread with the regulation talk and the staking in the US. But over the long term, still bullish on crypto, still bullish on Bitcoin. And guys, that is a massive update for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button. If you guys like the channel, make sure to check out the link tree link in the description of this video. You get yourself some nice bonuses on crypto exchanges, discounts on NordVPN, and uh, also crypto taxes done in minutes. So set up your APIs and your crypto taxes, get all that stuff automated and uh, make sure the crypto tax nightmare doesn't impact you right there and some other very beneficial things along your crypto journey. But guys, appreciate it. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.